Now, yes, people have said, well, uh, President uh, Trump talked about a Muslim ban. President Trump is no longer talking about a Muslim ban. President Trump moved the embassy to Jerusalem. That's a plaque that was moved. It was not 43,000 Palestinians killed at the hands of Israel right. with arms provided by the United States. And now we're seeing thousands of people getting killed in Lebanon. Uh, they're going to destroy, uh, they're in the process of destroying half of Lebanon, all the way from South Beirut, all the way to the South. And that is unacceptable. We, if Harris comes to power, the Biden administration's policies will continue. And we will see Israel doing whatever the hell it wants to do against our people. You have a choice between a Harris administration that's going to continue killing our people or you have a choice to vote for Trump, who has told us, me personally as well, that he wants to stop the wars immediately. He wants to uh, lay the groundwork for a lasting peace agreements in the Middle East that are satisfactory to all parties in the region. And I'm saying all parties emphasizing no exclusions here. 